know that a woman could use breastfeeding as a form of birth control? That's right, the lactational amenorrhea method, or LAM, is a natural family planning method that can prevent ovulation for up to six months after pregnancy. This short video will discuss the advantages and methods on how to effectively use the lactational amenorrhea method. While LAM is an ancient and prehistoric method, it has only been within the past 30 years that scientists have worked to determine how breastfeeding affects fertility. Let's take a look at the physiological causes and effective practices of LAM. LAM has been practiced for thousands of years and it is all natural and costs nothing. It is extremely effective for the first six months after a child is born and can be used by women in cultures where modern birth control methods are unheard of or are prohibited by cultural taboos or religious prohibitions. No medical supplies are necessary and as there are no drugs involved, there are no side effects. LAM also allows for all the traditional benefits of breastfeeding, which include greater immune health, fewer infections, less tendency to develop allergies, higher intelligence, less risk of diabetes, and other long-term health effects for the infant. Also, benefits for a breastfeeding mother include bonding, relaxation through the release of hormones such as oxytocin, weight loss, reduced risk of breast, ovarian, and endometrial cancer, and a reduced risk of heart disease. Additionally, breastfeeding lessens insulin requirements for diabetic mothers. The term amenorrhea refers to the absence of a menstrual period in a woman of reproductive age. It naturally occurs during pregnancy and continues postpartum as long as the mother continuously breastfeeds and remains in close contact with her child. In fact, it is close proximity to the child which is the major physiological cause of amenorrhea. During pregnancy, high levels of estrogen can cause the hormone prolactin to be produced. As prolactin levels rise, the mammary glands are stimulated to produce milk. During pregnancy, high levels of progesterone prevent milk ejection and it is only after progesterone levels drop postpartum that mothers are able to express milk. Prolactin is also responsible for sexual satiation. High levels of the hormone during the first trimester of pregnancy and during breastfeeding help protect the child by nullifying the effect of dopamine, the hormone responsible for sexual arousal. Prolactin after pregnancy is stimulated by the suction of the mother's nipple by the child and by close contact. Prolactin prevents ovulation by inhibiting follicle stimulating hormone, also known as FSH and luteinizing hormone, or LH. All of these hormones are responsible for regulating the reproductive processes of the body, and their repression interrupts the ovulatory cycle. In order for LAM to work, mothers must only breastfeed their child. Use of formula, bottle feeding, solid foods, or water will reduce the effectiveness of LAM. According to the Ecological Breastfeeding Method, developed by Sheila Kipley in 1971 as a stricter and more effective form of LAM, the infant must be pacified by the breast. No pacifiers or bottles should be used. In addition, mothers should not be separated from their infants, either by babysitter or strollers. Baby wearing, the use of a cloth carrier, increases contact between the mother and child and allows the child access to the breast when food or pacification is necessary. The mother should feed their child every four hours during the day and every six hours at night. Mothers should take daily naps with their children and allow the child to sleep with the mother at night, as opposed to a separate infant bed. As long as LAM is started before the mother's menstrual cycle has returned, these guidelines have shown to be an effective birth control method for up to six months. In some cases, LAM is effective for up to 18 to 30 months. The first scientific conference on LAM was held August 1988 in Bellagio, Italy. The conference determined that a postpartum woman has at least 98% protection from pregnancy for six months when she remains amenorrheic and fully or nearly fully breastfeeds. Studies by the Mayo Clinic and USAID have shown that ideal use of LAM results in 99.5% effectiveness in preventing pregnancy. Typical use results in 98% effectiveness. By comparison, non-breastfeeding women not on contraception have a 25 to 30 percent pregnancy rate during the first six months. While LAM has many benefits, a few considerations should be mentioned. First, it is a short-term form of birth control. 
Again, it is most effective for the first six months after birth. Also, the importance of maintaining mother-child contact may be unrealistic for working mothers and others who cannot spend 18 to 24 hours a day with their child or find such a regimen inconvenient when compared to other methods of birth control. LAM offers no protection against sexually transmitted diseases. And lastly, a woman could become pregnant before her first menstruation. In spite of the downsides of lactation amenorrhea method, it remains an effective and easy form of birth control for millions of women and can be an important part of the bonding process between mother and their newborns. This safe and natural contraceptive method is also one of the oldest, as the mechanism behind it have been a part of our physiology for millennia.